Police claim the terrorist who murdered 49 innocent people was on the website of a controversial imam. That imam is a former gang leader turned bank robber who served time in prison and was released from prison last year. And today, Imam Abu Taba and his lawyer went on the record. Imam, imam, Dan, thank you both for joining us. Thank you, Greta. Thank you very much for having us. Um, tough time here in this community. No, it is. Um, do, do you know the man who, uh, who is Mateen? Alhamdulillah, uh, the person known as Umar Mateen has been reports saying that he was a student of mine. That's totally uh, not true. He never registered at our school. He never took classes at our school. I don't know him, never met him. Those things are totally unfounded. Uh, has he never been to your school? No, never. We, we're an online institution. So we don't have face-to-face -face classes, but we do meet all our students online. So even if he were online, you would know him? Yes, because we do face-to-faces. Um, Dan, have you, uh, have you learned anything to the contrary? Uh, to my knowledge, Greta, there is absolutely no evidence that uh, Mr. Mateen was associated with my client, was acquainted with him, was a student of his, or uh, for that matter, ever met him. Uh, uh, to the extent that he was a follower of my client, that is completely without our knowledge. Mateen, why is it people are saying that, do you think? Or not Mateen, I'm sorry, Imam. I'm Imam. <laughs> why are people saying that? You know, there's been a, a false report. Someone erroneously put it out there that Omar Mateen was a follower of Timbuktu Seminary. I'm the, the main teacher at Timbuktu Seminary, and people say these things. However, even they went so far to say that I was arrested and my companions were rounded up, and that was untrue either. We haven't had any problems. We've been going on doing business as usual. What we do teach is Quran. We don't teach paramilitary training or anything like that. We don't deal with politics either. What we preach in the United States is that it is not proper for any Muslim to take the law or the Islamic law at that into his own hands. And I personally don't think that this person was going to that club to um, cleanse them or to kill them because they were homosexualities. From what I understand, he was a constant person there, right? He was going there for three years. So I doubt he had a problem with that. Even one of the people said they, they knew him there and that they had seen him getting kicked out for being drunk. Well, drinking is the same type of crime as, as having homosexual relationships. So I doubt that he was there for something. Maybe he had a problem with his lover or something like that because I heard that his wife said that he was gay and his father had called him gay in front of her. I don't know. But I do know is that whatever he did, he didn't do it on behalf of Islam. So, so you disavow him. You disavow him of being uh, a devout Muslim. I disavow the concept of anyone taking the law into their own hands. That's a terrible thing that happened to those people. 50 people getting killed, 50 other people getting shot. Islam doesn't, no one can justify that with Islam, not using just Islam. There's no Islamic justification for that. We can't even slap um, people in the face in Islam. You know, there are laws and there's rules. So, and that's as a parent, let alone as a lawgiver. The person was sick, the people who, or the persons, because I also heard that one of the, the guy that got shot 12 times said that they were four shooters. So I'm sure they're still doing their investigation, but from what I see, whoever did that, if they're trying to say they did it for ISIS or they did it for Islam, that is not true. Islam does not stand for that. I don't know about ISIS. Well, how do you, how do you account for it? What's your theory on why he was close to the, uh, to the first American who went over and was a bomber for, uh, in Syria, a suicide bomber? What's your theory on that? You know, personally, it's very hard to uh, interrogate a dead person. You know, we hear about these suicide bombings. I personally don't believe that all those guys are suicide bombings. That's my personal What do you view. think they are? I don't know. They're dead. We can't tell. You know, I mean, I have, I have different politics in that. I believe that those people get blown up, and it helps our policy to say that they were blowing up something. But, you know, I don't know. Islam doesn't promote that. So, you see, I have a problem when you, someone says Muslims are doing something, but they're doing something un-Islamic, and they say they're doing it for Islam. That's schizophrenia. So that doesn't make sense to me. Well, what do you mean? There's an off, you have to admit that there's an awful lot of terrorism associated with Islam, right no, or wrong? I do not agree. I, no, okay. I make the difference. All right, let's get back to this. Okay. No, I'm just saying. All right, all right. So Mateen didn't, is, is not one of your followers. He's never been to your seminary, never been online as far as you know. 
You're no, being, period. We period, know. Period. Nothing. No. Have you checked? Yes, we you, double check. Okay, double check. Um, you are getting threats and death threats. Death threats and um, people are fa and people in the media are falsely reporting that McCain right. and is, and, is and, part and of it. They're promoting, you know, terrorism because yeah. the people are terrorizing mm -hmm. us. And we asked them to stop. We don't have anything to do. We're pleading with you. We didn't have anything to do with this. Our heart goes out to the victims. And we didn't ever train this guy. I never met him. And he's not a student of ours. Right. And you condemn the act, but you don't condemn him, Mateen, because of your, because you're really... On religious grounds, we, we, we condemn acts. We don't condemn people. You know, we, we, we hate the act. We don't hate the person. And you hate this act. And we hate this act. This is not the act that can be justified by Islam. Okay? At all.